This is Bill Kelleher from the band Mastodon, and you're watching Bloodstock TV. Okay, we're here on Bloodstock TV. I'm Squatter, and we are talking to Danny from Devilman. How are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Good, good. <laughs> you go up there a yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm not familiar with microphones. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Um, yes, so you just played on the main stage of Bloodstock. How did that go? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, good fun. Yeah. Uh, I had to get up at um, 7 o'clock this morning to do this because I'm staying at uh, the Cradle of the Field guitarist's house, Rich, okay. and he lives in Hina, okay. in, uh, Dar near Derby. And uh, quite frankly, I never knew 7 o'clock existed. I thought okay. it was a. I read about it in books. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lion which in a wardrobe, I believe, mentioned uh, yeah. 7 o'clock. Yeah. But uh, to actually see it face to face, bit of an adventure. Yes, your, uh, your eyes are looking a little bloodshot, it has yeah, to be yeah. said. I don't know if the camera can pick them up quite, but that's looking a little bit uh, a little bit red around the eyes there. But uh, yeah, so you had a, a bit of an early afternoon slot there. So for a sort of theatrical show like yours, how did you feel like that went down in the middle of the afternoon? Well, I really enjoyed it. First time I played at 1.45 since... Uh, since the last time we played there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, that's great. It's always good fun to play. Well, I mean, the last time we played here was the uh, headline incident with the. Uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, enough said about that. Yes. I didn't want to bring any attention to that beforehand, yeah. just in case there was some idiot. That, yeah, we were the same. Well, you know, it would be a really good idea. Yeah, as I say, when we spoke to Colin on the uh, on the uh, Bloodstock Radio podcast, and you know, we, we, we glossed over it. We didn't bother Yeah, I know, but you know. Uh, I couldn't believe it happened last time. I was like, what? This is a good idea. When we sell, uh, when we set air, air rifles yeah. at this gig, you know, you know, <laughs> like all, you know. Anyway, yeah. all water under the bridge, and you're back, and you're here, so yeah. all, all good. Yeah, I brilliant. Think. I really enjoyed it, and yeah. I'm enjoying it still. Yeah, cool. I've been enjoying it now. Good, but this minute. Right. This minute. Okay, yeah. cool. that's cool. Well, let's hope that's still going by the end of this interview. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, most of you guys have um, played uh, Bloodstock before, I believe. Colin was saying to me that uh, he's played at Metal to the Masses level, a new blood band, and uh, I believe Nick, you guitarist, played on most of the stages as well. So, uh, yeah, it must be good for you to all be back here, and you're all very familiar with the place, yeah? I'm not that familiar, I remember that bit over there, that's it. I'm having a tattoo as well, later. Yeah. Just commemorative. Really? What are you, what are you having done then? The Mum and chips. Okay. <laughs> Whereabouts? Where's that going? Forehead. Forehead, that sounds good. Obviously. <laughs> to commemorate it. Well, there you go, though. It's I need like to that. remember stuff. Yeah, of course you can. So, yeah, get a blood yeah, I actually am um, a, a, a... Something here. Genuinely having a tattoo on time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had one last time I was here as well. Okay, that's cool. All right, that's a good way to Generally, do it. Generally, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so your, is your memory generally bad then? So we need tattoos to remind you where you've been? Sorry, what did you say? Uh, is your memory generally that bad that you need tattoos to remind you where you've been? Sorry, what did you say? Oh, got me on that one twice. That's terrible. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Oh, I'll be, I'm not going for it again. Um, so um, you've recently done a video for Judas Stein. Yeah. Uh, correct? Yeah. So uh, yeah, how's that process? It looked like a rather rather grandiose video that you finished up with. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it wasn't like uh, Swiss Martin Scorsese or anything. It was, uh, I actually came back from uh, uh, a tour of Europe doing press trips and that, and uh, had to stay with my sisters at Greenwich, and the next day we went to this. It was really good fun, actually. We had a, <laughs> an amazing day um, in this weird place in the middle of South London. It was very out of context with the rest of the human race. Yes. It was all done in this black screen place, and um, and uh, sort of got there about twelve, didn't leave till about eight, and the rest of the day was a bit of a sort of blur because it's all sort of strobes and. Yeah. Uh, being made up in weird and wonderful stuff, which I'm kind of yeah. used to, but yeah. uh, at the end of a really busy week, it was a bit like, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> so you uh, you said that that's the last video that you're doing from the from the album. So uh, does that mean we've got new material on the way then? New material is on the well. I'd love to do um, Shine on Sophie Moon with Sophie Moon, the porn actress, but I'm sure that's not coming yes. quite soon. But um, yeah, there's music, uh, definitely new material on the way. Well, I know there is. Uh, and obviously at the moment, new Cradle album, um, in the thick and thin of uh, promoting that. Yeah. Um, and then we've got a world tour coming up. But we do have some um, time free. And it looks like next year as well, we're 
Devon are doing a, a huge amount of summer festivals as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Which are being booked now. Okay. We didn't have a great time this time because uh, uh, our uh, promoter we had, a uh, booking agent, fucked us over big time. So can I say that? Yes. Fucked us over big time. <laughs> um, we got a new one who's, you know, who's uh, doing us a grand job. Yeah. And so next year, loads. Cool. Um, and that'll be after the world tour that Cradle of Filth are doing. Cool. So you're going to be a busy bunny out on the road a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So does that, what's, what's I like touring all the time? Is it? Is it? Does it ever get old? Does it ever get boring? Does it ever get? Well, you just you make it. What you know? If you've got a family, if you've got other people you love and stuff, you make you bring them out, or you know, you make sure you've got a decent uh, vacuum cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> lots of tissues. <laughs> so um, Bloodstock's got a, a reputation of. Uh, the new blood stage and the metal to the masses process and stuff like that. And I know that you guys, uh, I saw you and Colin at Thrashosaurus earlier this uh, year. Yeah, yeah, that's this good. Year. Yeah, we here. enjoyed that. Yeah, it's good. It's a good doing that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, where's your, what's your opinion on the, you know, the, the, the headliners of tomorrow and where are the, where the, where the future of metal is coming from now? Do you think it's, a, it's got a healthy future at the moment, or? I do think it's healthy. I think the Bloodstock are doing something that, um, well, Germany's much the same, though. Germany's a well-trodden path because, um, you know, they, they get spoiled. Yeah. Bloodstock has come out, wherever f festivals have failed, I'm not going to name them, but, you know, there's only a couple, yeah. <laughs> as you well know, um, haven't paid attention really to what, what individual wants. And yeah, you've got people like Blind Guardian and Possessed. Yeah, yeah, they're not like stuff that go on download, but they're, big important bands and yeah. you put them all together and it's exactly exactly what people want and this is why bloodstock's becoming bigger and bigger every year yeah. and you know like I, I you know i played here like seven years ago and i came i think to one i was with andy sneeping in one of the like number two or three but it was like yeah. like a tent in the field and in 10 years time i i, I really do think it will be you know up there with vacan or yeah. or grass bar. Yeah. Cool. Because of the attention to detail, I would like to add they should a bit more attention to detail backstage. You know, massage table, um, naked women. Um, <laughs> well, if you if you pop free over, parking. if you pop up to Motley Brew, they've got a masseur there if you wanted to go over. Oh, really? To, no, oh, you right. get a cup of tea and you can uh, get a massage at the same time as well. All right, well, you have so. to chaperone me up there. Okay, then. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'll on. take everything back. But no, seriously, I I literally do think that. It, the reason it's become so big because it caters to the stuff. Okay, collectively, you know, you wouldn't expect Blind Guardian to download. You wouldn't expect Possessed to download. You wouldn't expect Macabre, to, maybe on a smaller stage, but collectively, yeah. it, it, it really works. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, that's, that's the point. And I, I'm a massive fan of all, all that shit, whatever anybody says. Yeah. You know, I'm here for about Inquisition, Possessed, Macabre, Macabre definitely. The last yeah. time I met them was uh, actually um, at uh, a serial killer's uh, hotel in uh, Milwaukee. It's hotel room. They, they booked it out because uh, it was uh, it was once booked by a um, serial killer. Oh, okay. Interesting sort of stuff. A uh, creator, obviously. Yes. Without fail. Yeah, of course. Cool. So yeah, so you're around with the rest of the weekend or just today or are you? No, I'm around the rest of the weekend, yeah. Cool, excellent. Well, we'll uh, hopefully see you around, enjoy the rest of it and uh, glad the set went well. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah, thank you very much. Cheers. And good bastard.